For the first time, we're hearing a conversation between a Metro detective and the man accused of brutally killing his 12 year old neighbor. That recording was played today in the trial of Roy Coons Jr. Our Brandon Marshall is live outside the courtroom. Brandon, what was said? Rory, the day of the murder, the detective spoke to Coons twice. During the first time, Coons was calm. He told the detective during that day he had come out of his house to check the mail, he walked his dog, and he even saw kids coming off of a school bus. But it was during that second conversation that his demeanor changed. He became agitated, started yelling and swearing, even asking, quote, why is everybody bothering me? During this during this recorded conversation, Coons was told 12-year-old Joanna Ortega was killed. The detective asked Coons, quote, if you had a 12-year-old that was killed, would you not want everything done to find out what happened? Coons said he knew the family because he would cut their grass and was sorry to hear what happened. I don't want to get involved in it. I mean, like I said, whatever they got going on, and I'm sorry it happened to their daughter or whatever, but whatever they got going on, I don't want to be involved in it. Okay. I got enough going on. This is, it's not right, man. Now, while this recorded conversation was playing out in court, I watched Coons rocking back and forth in his chair, even smiling at times. The prosecution has more than 40 witnesses to testify during th throughout this murder trial. And coming up at six, we'll hear from a couple who said they had unusual conversations with Coons and even Coons asking them, quote, does God forgive someone for killing a person? For now, that is the latest. We're live in Nashville. Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.